G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Victoria 3. In today's video, we are playing as the Great Land Down Under, Australia. Now, <laughs> alright, so basically what we're going to be trying to do today is we are going to try and grant Australia its own national independence. Now you're probably thinking, how are you going to do that? Aren't you Britain's bitch? Damn right we are, alright? For, for the time being, alright? And uh, Yeah, you know, it is what it is. So, basically what we're going to be doing is if we come over here to the journal, we can announce a decision that grants us our own federate Australia. Now, in order for us to do that, we must obviously have research nationalism, and we must have a relationship of Britain equal or greater than 50, and we also need to have at least amicable relations and greater GDP than a neighbouring Australian or Maui country with the same overlord, which is okay dokie because obviously we're just gonna go through the roof with that one, and obviously federate Australia, which we just need to get all of this in, like, thingo, and we should be good to go. Now, we are playing as good old Tasmania. I'm not saying Van Dimensland because I really can't be bothered, all right? All right. So today, basically, what we want to do is we are, I guess we'll push society, but we're not pushing military, all right? Military, I guess it can just do its own thing, all right? We're not really gonna focus too much on military. We really just want to build up in an insane economy, as you can see here. It's 7.7, .7 and uh, yeah, we're 307 in, in, in the entire world. Uh, for, uh, how many? Wow. We are... Uh, bro, like, these guys. Papua. 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 Papua New Guinea has a better GDP than us. And they're not even, like... A, like, they're just tribal people. And they have a better... Uh, it's crazy. So, there is a lot that we need to do. Now, obviously, we are starting as a subject of Great Britain. As you can see here, we have 35.3% literacy. 12.1% standard of living. And we are impoverished with a population of 23.5. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Yes, there is quite a lot that we need to do. And first things first, uh, we need to come over here to the decrease and increase. Uh, we're going to do the greener grass campaign because we need that. Promote social mobility. We're going to increase our road maintenance. Actually, you know what? Uh, we'll also increase our resources and we'll also... I think that's about it. Yeah, we'll, we'll do... Actually, no, 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 no. Road maintenance. Yeah, we'll do road maintenance as well. All right, we're doing quite a lot just in that little area. Now, we come over here to budget. We're not going to touch anything. All right, literally no point. We can increase this. 62, really? 28. There's, there's literally not even a difference. Like, there's not nothing crazy. Tax in the shit out of people. Consumption taxes. Yeah, it does nothing. <laughs> So, basically, we have the shittest economy on the planet. But we are, you know, we need insignificant power. Uh, but first things first, we're going to come over here. We are going to research canaries, because you're going to love canaries. <laughs> Dude, it's not, it's not a smelter video without me doing a very over-dramatized burp. Now, as you can see here, our economy is... Yeah, no, it's just that bad. Like, Eve, like, I'm probably building a construction sector. would <laughs> it, it would kill us, quite literally. If we take a look here, our pops are paying 0.8% more. And as you can see see here. Okie dokie. So it seems like we are paying a lot for clothes. And we're paying a lot for meat. As you can see here, clothes is about 14.6%, which is about 14.9% of our expenditures. We're okay on grain, transportation, holy shit, uh, and groceries. Oh my god. Um, yes. Well, I think we gotta focus on those first. Uh, we come over here to our food industries. Yes, we do need to lower those down. I think I'm about to build uh, just a couple for now. So, um, well, I'm gonna be just chilling here research and shit and just doing all the fun stuff above so yeah we'll be right back once uh, once we get all this stuff sorted factories tasmania are refusing to hire aboriginal people to their status across class citizens there are jobs for diamonds lander all hands are needed to build the future damn right all right we need ourselves some industrialists see right here we're trying to bolster these bad boys up all right we want the industrialists to uh come up here and uh yeah no we, we really need them uh because you know uh industrialists Industrialists are really going to help us out. Now, as you can see here, we are trying to go from farms to factories. Now, obviously, we don't even have less than the population of 35% of peasants, which is... Oh, it's great. You know, it's it, somehow our literacy has gone down, even though we're trying to promote social mobility. We now have a national militia, which is great. And as you can see here, we need to take a look at some things as well. Okie dokie. Overview. Taxation capacity. All right. So, we're good on taxation capacity uh, we, with the usage of four. 0.1 so we're okay you know we're we're doing pretty good so we don't want to go over that that's like a, a must i'm uh, not a must i mean i don't do don't go over taxation capacity let's take a look at other places actually uh Paul what about the east india companies holy shit bro calcutta oh my god 1000 jesus christ 
Oh my days. Man, t talk about like breaking it. But yes, uh, look at this, dude. Look at the food industries absolutely carry. Oh, shooting all the way up, lads. But yet again, like I'm, uh, I could also focus on like trade at some point as well when I get the uh, option. Oh, would you love this? We are uh, the industrious and our influential. You'll love to see that. But yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's not so much of a worry uh, with trade at the moment. Uh, it's more or less just trying to become a decent producer because obviously we got like New South Wales here that we have to compete with. They have a 635,000 and we now have 126,000. So we're pretty good. Man, we, we've got a higher GDP than Western Australia already. I feel bad for them, bro. Um, but yes, that's right. We left all of y'all in the dust. We got a bit, uh, we still don't have a bigger GDP than Papua New Guinea. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. I am a hurt, okay? Our iron's actually gotten a lot cheaper. Um, oh, the industrialists are now powerful. Yes, we can now resume the government. Jug them out. Good. Because with industrialists, we get plural, we get a lot of good things, like laissez fair. There we go. I mean, we have such a low government then, but we, we really need to bolster the power of the industrialists before we can even do anything with them, which absolutely sucks. Uh, we've got the canaries. No. Uh, because we do we want to produce steel at some point. If we take a look here, resources, iron, it's about 0 0.75, 0 0.46, 0 0.63, 0 0.43. Whaling stations may be a good one as well because they actually they actually do produce us oil and meat. And I don't we don't really have a way of producing any oil like at all. So that may be great, especially if we uh, do like. Uh, motor industries at, uh, later on, uh, all that, etc. But also building logging camps because having uh, <laughs> the food industries as they are, I mean, it is taking a while. We do need to obviously build construction sectors so then, you know, we can build things a lot quicker. So probably building up some log encampments will be great and maybe a fabric as well for the level one. So that will obviously be our great cotton plantations. So building those up will definitely bolster us. Uh, and it's been built. Wait, watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh man, we're about... Oh, Ready? Yeah. <laughs> 167, 187. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, no. Uh, that's. Oh, wow. No. Oh, it's plateaued again. No, that's fine. Dude, the, the, yeah, no. The food industry is. Oh, man. They make everything so much better. We're now playing about plus 6-1%. You can see here groceries are about 46 now. So yes, building those definitely do help us out a lot. As you can see, still see here, like, my god, like, they are still a lot. Like, food industries is like a must here. Bread, butter, and ballots. Uh, the groceries. Conservative party, eh? Um, no, we want to fund soup uh, games aims for the needy. Uh, yes, they will just have to eat something else then. Screw the conservatives! Alright, we don't want conservatives party here. Right? We want we want the industrialists. All right? we, we, we want a different government. All right? A better government. A, be a way better government. And we're almost about a 50 relationship with uh, Britain. Beautiful. Love that. Absolutely love that. The election. And there we go. We managed to complete from farms to factories. Our bloody peasants are now less than 30.6 of the country. The industrialists have expressed their satisfaction with the direction being taken by the country and its newly built factories. There's only one pro uh, possible direction forward progress is like a train that doesn't stop doesn't wait for anyone either you're in or you're out ah oh, beautiful we can increase the thing but i think we probably grab more loyalists <laughs> um so yeah and do look at the gdp go through the roof holy crap uh we managed to get the 325,000. um food industries are definitely the go-to i mean we're building like what five yeah we're building five it's now the year 1840 and we take a look at new south wales wow we're about half at new south wales gdp almost. Uh, Western Australia? Nah, they haven't gone anywhere. Uh, South Australia's done well, but we're, you know, we're little Tasmania, man. Like, god, we, we haven't done anything. We're just Hobart. <laughs> canned do attitude. Soldiers are complaining that they are, they, uh, have no way to open their canned, canned food. Um, well, they'll figure it out, because we don't want the armed forces gaining anything. Uh, Von Diamond's land. We are rank 90. Who's? Actually, yeah, who is higher than us? Oh, I need to see this. Uh, I am very much so interested. Haiti, New Brunswick. Thank you. 
Uh, Guatemala, Luxembourg. Uh, man, if I see New South Wales anywhere up here. Wait, do we have a higher ranking than New South Wales? No, they do. 77%. Okay, I must have really gone by them. Western Australia has a uh, way better. Oh, dude. That's like the second gold pop-up. Dude, they've got gold fields. It's so unfair. Their economy is just going to shoot up. Oh. See, this is why probably starting as New South Wales is better because, you know, you get access to, like, you know, the gold rush and stuff, which is great. And then, you know, I decided to play Tasmania because I thought it'd be nice and difficult and I, like, had to, you know, use big brain power and stuff. But, like, I'm now just sitting here and going, ouch, 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 ouch. Um, seems like our GDP is kind of plummeting a bit. Um, can we... Mm. University. I think university will definitely be a good idea, but obviously we do need to build some paper mills. Uh, so we might get to that, but that will obviously um, increase wood production. Um, plus 30 for wood. So yeah, building logging camps is by far the next step for us to take because iron requires tools. Uh, lead will require tools. Uh, wood just requires wood, nothing. Uh, fishing walls, fish, whaling, normals. Uh, clippers. So... Uh, um, and tools obviously require wood. So wood is where we want to go and shipyards also require wood and fabric. So after we're done building these groceries, we have even more stuff to, uh, to invest in, which is great. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, so all of our food groceries have stopped and our GDP is about to climb up to 500,000, which is bloody beautiful, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, no, we got, you know, uh, that's fine. So next thing that we need to build is logging camps. So I'm just going to absolutely, uh, we're making about 1.06 thousand, which is okay. So what I think we can do now is we can actually build a construction center, which is something that is definitely going to help us build things quicker. Um, again, we can't really build much. I mean, we literally literally started from like a bottom zero nil nothing uh von diamond's lead free trade <laughs> it's a hundred percent literally all of these guys no one gives a, a rat <laughs> i mean we are still bolstering like what 43 percent so yeah now they're they're through the roof uh so what we can do is beautiful one two we're just gonna build about i say five five logging camps and with that with the logging camps we can build like things such as furniture manufactories building workshops he just so much more i mean we could still continuously build food groceries, obviously, but um, we really got to focus on other sides of the economy. So then we can build shipyards, uh, even motor industries and the arts academy, which is something that's actually going to be very good in the future. Man, friggin' Ecuador is getting blasted by like, oh my god, look how many British allies there are. Oh my god. I mean, they're going for a subjugation. Like, look at this. I don't know why England's going after e uh, Great Britain is going after England. Why do I say, I keep saying England. I don't know why. Uh, and the United States, um, well, uh, owes obligation from Paraguay. Um, they're improving their relations with Nick. Uh, well, yeah, we'll start researching baking powder. Why not? Got a lot of baking powder. Baking powder. Uh, um, wait, weren't we just 57? I swear, or am I tripping? Lower Canada's 53, and it seems like Ecuador is about to be a subject to Britain, so that's that's unlucky for Ecuador. Uh, talk about having, you know, your independence. Uh, we're actually higher than Canada, the Columbia district. Um, no, that's the Hudson Bay Company, Columbia district. Oh, uh, well, parts of Canada, yeah. Um, so, uh, we're gonna have 15% chance for that, which will be beautiful. And we're building, we are doing a lot with logging encampments. We're about to get up to 600k. Let's go. Love that. Love that. Ugh. Okay, but obviously, if we take a look here, the play for power. Um, not all is fair. Sorry, lad. Uh, no offense. Uh, infrastructure. Yes, we're 13 over 11. I mean, we do have to be a bit careful from that because, you know, it's, you know, plus 4.4 for Pope, you know, all that stuff. Um, but yes, the road maintenance uh, definitely helps with the infrastructure, which is wonderful. Um, I really just want to see what's going on. What's What's Greece's GDP? Uh, 1.47 million. Okay, uh, what have I done? I really like to see this. What have you built, Greece? Let's, let's take a look. Okay, they've done logging camps. Uh, and also, I was also improving my relations with Thingo. Kai, yes, it is 50, which is great. Love to see that. So, we've meet some of the criteria uh, for Federal Australia. Uh, we just need to be at peace, and we need a very high GDP, and we need to have nationalism 
nationalism on our side. But uh, I'm not going to bother with nationalism until I see my... I mean, we've, our economy has climbed so much. I mean, bro, 244, 203. Man, we're really starting to, like, push the, the absolute maximum. What, what is this? Uh, regime change in Lower Canada. Um, okay, I don't know what France has to gain in Lower Canada. But I mean, hey, if they do that, I guess they do that. Can't be helped. <laughs> uh, okay, resources. Uh, should we, I mean, I really do should just max out the logging camps. Uh, but again, we want to climb the ladder. Uh, so paper mills, shipyards. So shipyards will be great. Okay, let's take a look at the market. Uh, what do we like for fabric? Okay, so yeah, we have a lot of fabric. Okay, we are, we definitely meet the demand for the buy orders. Uh, so I think we can probably build about, I say three? No, actually, you know what? No, 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 we need, we need railways. Um, so increasing this, I think we build about four of those, four railways, uh, which will take a while. Uh, uh, so I say we build about four of those and uh, yeah, we should be good to go. Are you kidding me? And could you not? There's been gold in every fucking state, but mine, every seat, but mine. What have I done to deserve this? I just want to see what I get like halfway, I get so close and then I just have to watch this thing ride. Oh, can't get enough. I, I literally can't get enough. Oh, mechanized workshops. Beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at buildings. I think we can probably increase production or we could do baking powder, which we will definitely do. Um, and we'll do canaries and uh, I know I think we'll be fine there. Oh, questionable practices. Their judgment cannot be trusted. Um, wait, did I knack my thingo? I think I did. Uh, the judgment cannot. The trade unions can uh, can take over the asylum. We need to entirely revise how asylums work. Oh, we increase lower and middle strata, but we do take a bit on the uh, gold reserves, but that is fine. I am 100% okay with that. Uh, sawmills, I think that'll be pretty good. Uh, hardwood production as well, and rail transportation. Yes. We're definitely relying a lot on uh, rail transportation for our land. Oh, okay. Our GDP went through the roof, but then it just went straight back down. Holy crap. I didn't even, I wasn't even looking. Branching out. Um, wow. Okie dokie. We're now going to enact private schools, which is going to be great for wealth. As you can see here, we have a pretty uh, wealthy uh, standard of living, man. We, we've really go, we've really gone far and beyond with that, with just all of this. Could you imagine doing that with Tasmania? Nah, couldn't be me. Um, but the Krakoda Eruch. We'll time out in a couple. Aftermath of Volcano Eruch in the West Java is still afflicting the world climate. Um, ooh, that is not good. Uh, branching out. So yeah, still having this, but that's six years, so we're not worried about that. And patronize romanticism. Um, yeah, I think building a, a thing of academy is gonna be great. Obviously, we are losing a lot, uh, for building stuff, especially railways. Actually, I think we'll just stop building the railways. Really no point. Uh, log encampments. Great. And we've even enacted wealth schools. Um, private schools, wealth schools. God. Um, colonial exploitation. Uh, we could do that. I don't really... I think we could just start colonizing the bottom of Western Australia. Um, which may be a good way to get started. So we'll do colonial exploitation next. So then we can just start grabbing some of that Western Australia wealth, baby. Um, they've declared bank Bankruptcy. Look at those modifiers. Oh my god. Uh Okay, um, I mean, our GDP is, it's great. Suck it, Papua New Guinea, even though Papua New Guinea has done nothing wrong, by the way. It's just, I feel like saying it, because why not? Uh, prosperous. Now, still want to focus on the lower strata, so it's clothes that seem to be going up. Same with furniture, and transportation is a lot too. Uh, same with glass, coal, and fine art. Dude, fine art. I mean, no one's buying fine art. Uh, hey, we got our education to level two. Colonial enthusiasm slowed down. The law hasn't been signed yet. Uh, okay, politics, institutions. Uh, in order for us to get to level three, um, we need to in, uh, if I, okay, political strength, you know, yeah, uh, but we are lowering down in gold reserves, so, hey, there we go, we got colonial exploitation, establish a colony down here, all right, so the reason why we need that is because, obviously, in order for us to do federal Australia, we need to have, well, Australia, um, well, that, most of those parts, so having, uh, industrialists playing in Australia is, like, a must, like, you just, you just have to do it, you know, um, uh, um, yeah, but yeah, building these logging encampments. It, I, I keep saying encampments, encampments. It's gonna be beautiful. It's, it's a wonderful treat. Um, as you can see here, we are above, just increasing the cell order. Um, I mean, obviously we still can't import, still gotta build our ports. Uh, decrees. Um, okay, we could do... Oh, 
my god, a religious revolt, revolt is now happening in Western Australia. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Oh, dude, what is, how did, the, what happened? From the ground up, a low-born man, ooh, he has, he has earned this job. Yes, he has. Um, path to liberalism, uh, universal suffrage, well, actually, I, you know, I don't even know what that is. Oh, yes, here we go. Um, uh, okay, they don't, industrialists don't like it, that, no, industrials don't like it if it's not well voting. So, well, everyone seems to like well voting, um, at the for the time being. Um, but so far, also, our uh, finger has climbed up, to, back up to being prosperous. Uh, number one in the world. Of course, wait, what's number two? Uh, oh, wow, New South Wales is number three. Six is Western Australia. What? No. Oh, no, they, they have increased. Okay. Uh, middling, middling. Dude, Australia is just like a, a livable place. Dude, look at us. We're like pure green. What about everywhere else? Um, can I click on countries? Uh, migration. Uh, we're currently sitting at... Ugh, dude. Oh, wow. Oh, dude. There is so many people. Oh, man. China's just a big red hot spot. Um, I mean, yeah, America's there, dude. Like, dude, America's crazy at the moment. Um, let's take a look at GDP. 34th world ride. Uh, the ultra Okay, 23 million. I don't think we're going to catch up, but we're, we're doing good. Uh, George Street intends to travel across Tasmania by uh, by train to campaign for the free train party. Uh, the fate of a nation depends on the train running time, momentum, railway through input. Yes, we'll do that. The free trade party, all right? You, you gotta love the free trade party. Okay, so we're currently building uh, more construction sectors, so then we can do iron frame buildings here, which just makes everything so much quicker, and we now have nationalism. Great, and now we're gonna get egalitarianism. So once we can get that, we can now enact multiculturalism, which is something that we want, especially with a population like this. I mean, dude, this thing has just been skyrocketing. Um, uh, yes, this one. Screw them. Federal Australia Yay! Uh, Triggers Australia Federation. Isn't that great, lads? Um, but we really do need to have this ticked off. Have at least amicable relations. Um, so I think we'll go back and probably increase. Uh, we do. Oh, wait. Do we need amicable relations with all of these people? Lads, I think so. Yeah, no, I think we do. Um, I didn't even, I, I don't think I realized that. Uh, I think, yeah, it's amicable relations with, have at least a, li uh, and a greater GDP, uh, than a neighboring Australian. Oh, okay, I see. So we got to have a lot. You can see here, we're now losing a lot of gold, a lot of g cash per month. Um, textile, chemical. All right, so they are now amicable. They're amicable. We're about to make you amicable, and I'll just start increasing my relationship with you. I don't know if I have to increase it with these guys. Uh, that's yet to be decided. Uh, oh, Federal Australia. There we go. Okay, Um, click on that. Confederation with Western Australia. The ink God said, okay. The ink had not even dried on the bill of unification before our bureaucrats and politicians to set work on integrating Western Australia with the blessing of Queen Victoria of Hanover. We are one step closer towards Federation of Australia. God save the Queen. And we have now annexed Western Australia. It is now our big boy. And uh, well, obviously, our finger has dropped a bit. Uh, quite a lot, actually. So, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna stop with all this and maybe do some, uh, thingo. So, we can see here with interest, yeah, uh, diplomatic packs. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is definitely increase the taxes to max. Oh my god, we finally enacted dedicated police force. Holy shit, I don't know how many times I saw that thing fail, but we did it. Sweet. Okay, the rural folk have been radicalized. Isn't that lovely? Laws that we can pass. Okay, racial segregation, a multi Multiculturalism. Um, ooh. This is there. We need 42. Okay, well, you know, it's fine. I, I, honestly, I don't mind being a, an insignificant power at the moment, okay? It's it's not all... You know, it's fine. Uh, can we abolish anything over here? I do not want child labor. Uh, compulsory primary school? See, that one's great. Compulsory primary school. Uh, that would be a great one to have because kids... Oh my god, we can finally build gold. Oh, yes, I'll build gold after I'm done building my ports in Tasmania because I've been sitting here wondering, hey, I'm not making anything. What's happening? And then I realized, oh yeah, shit, it's the ports. I don't have any ports. I can't import anything, right? So we're gonna have to import some clippers as well because yeah, as you, I don't, uh, y'all saw that, like the demand for them are so high and we're gonna have to start producing some. So why, do that goes through the roof. Subside, subsidies, um, okay, so, so far, so good. 
Okay, the gold mines. Num rule number one, lads. Stack up the gold mines. All right, how long am they going to take? Uh, this one's going to take an entire year to build, but that's fine with me, baby, because Feder uh, we can also take uh, South Australia, which will probably stop the revolt. Uh, I would like... Uh, see, they're neutral. They're, I don't think that's changing. Like, that's just chilling the way how it is. So what I'm going to end up doing is grab this. The ink, yes, beautiful. We now even have uh, South Australia uh, for interactions. Okay, um, diplomacy. Do they not have a, a wall support? Uh, enact public schools. You, you, like, you all want public schools? Why, in pu why public schools, yeah? When you can have private schools. Okay, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. And I can tell you now, I am freaking exhausted. <laughs> so basically, uh, we managed to grab South Australia and the rest of Western Australia and all down here, uh, which is great. It's it's dope. I'm 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 a happy guy. I'm very happy. Um, and basically, yeah. And the final thing is New South Wales, and lucky for us, they love us, which is great. So what we're gonna do is come to the journal decisions. Better Australia. Oh, New South. Wales come to Papa. Yes! Veterans Australia is now complete. Oh my god. Look at our GDP. 19.5 million. We're 26 worldwide. Here we go. The colonies of Australia have been consolidated into a single government under the director of Van Diemen's Land, or Tasmania. The Queen of Great Britain has formally congratulated the Australian people. Today marks the beginning of the Australian nation. The land down under was a great challenge for its first settlers, throughout with the ferocious flora and fauna, malevolent and hostile, but through ingenuity, determination and faith, we have tamed this rugged fair. Advance Australia fair, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh, it's just Tasmania. I love it. Yes, unfortunate. Oh, man. But you know what it's time for now, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, well, that's it. I am done. <laughs> I am I am beyond tired. That calls it there. So yeah, we uh, we formed the uh, nation of Australia. We currently have a GDP of 21 million with 25th worldwide. And we have the highest GDP per capita in the world. Oh no, it's just keep showing me the great change. Uh, currently second, to Be second is Belgium, third Finland. Okay, so those are our top three. And we have the ninth highest living standard in the world. We did have the first for quite a while. But we have done very well, and we are the 13th greatest power, which is great, even though we're being subject, uh, you know, we're still a subject to Britain. But uh, unless we aren't, I don't know, wait, are we? British market? Yeah, British market. Okay, we, we still haven't, we're not, we have not really independent, but hell yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's sick. Uh, we just have Sweden, and then if we get past Sweden, we could become a great power, and then obviously from a great power to a major power. So yeah, I had so much fun with this campaign. It was actually really fun. I actually learned a little bit more about how the economy works. Works because uh, I can tell you all now, I crashed this economy so many damn times to the point where it was just like, oh god, what do I do? <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.